Hi friends, welcome to Linux Pro. My name is Chandan and today we are going to learn how to enable ping request on Windows machine on Azure Cloud. Okay. So in previous video I have shown you how to enable ICMP or ping request on Linux machine. Okay. In this video we are going to learn how to enable these things on Windows machine. So uh, the ping request required because we, we need uh, to fetch some data from the VM or any machine and uh, scenario is very simple whenever you are going to deploy any monitoring tool or you are going to configure any alert system okay in that scenario we required ping request okay it is required or either you are going to troubleshoot the VM what are the issue in that condition for checking purpose for troubleshooting purpose for the checking the connectivity it, it is going to connect or not so this types of scenario uh, in this types of scenario we are always required ping request so here just i am going to show you how we can enable this ping request or icmp protocol on windows machine okay so let's just start just uh, I'm going to create a new VM. Okay. Uh, for VM creation, I already I have already created a video. You can go through that uh, video on my channel and learn how to create a VM. Here I am just uh, going to create a VM as a quick way. Okay. So just here I am giving putting the name. VM demo okay region I am choosing is to is no infra no infrastructure redundancy I am choosing here just I am choosing Windows Server 2016 okay here the size okay 8 GB memory and two core okay so just here I am giving the username and password password I am giving just I am clicking on review and create Just click on create. So it will take little bit time. Okay. So I will fast forward this uh, whatever the time it will take. Okay. So as we can see our VM deployed successfully. Go to resources or you can just go to how search virtual machine here. Click on virtual machines. Click here VM test. No VM demo which we have created as a windows. okay now we required uh, now we are going to uh, enable the icmp protocol on this vm okay so just uh, in sidebar just click on networking okay and add a role add inbound port role okay click on that here just put that star okay and uh, source I am giving any you can give the IP address also okay IP address or networking if you wish okay if you want in the, in any scenario where you trying to ping 
through your network only then you can apply this these things okay here i am putting any okay and just choose here icmp okay allow here just keep the name icmp and add it you can give the description also here yeah, but i'm not giving here just add okay so security security rule is all created okay just refresh it you can see here icmp port okay any icmp any but we can't ping now if you try to ping this pm we can't ping because internally also we need to enable just open cmd and try it will not be i just i am showing you okay copy this ip so as we can see it is not going to ping okay now just log in this vm give the username put the password now we should we need to allow these things on firewall internally also okay that's why i am logged in in this vm now i am going to enable this thing on firewall level okay just click yes Just search here firewall. Okay, here we can see firewall, Windows firewall with advanced security. Just click on here. Go to inbound rules. Okay. file and printer sharing eco request okay you just need to click here double click and put it enable apply okay okay so here they have given for uh, icmp version 4 and icmp version 6 actually it is ipv4 and ipv6 okay so uh, both uh, if you if you are going to ping on ipv6 then you put that that uh, also enable here i am going only put that ipv4 i am going to use ipv4 that's why i am putting ipv4 only and also you can apply these things uh, using command line okay so uh, uh, for uh, this is gui right so just uh, i have applied these things using gui so suppose if you want to enable these things just uh, for example uh, uh, as we can see uh, let me show you just open and uh, try to ping again this pm will now we can ping this pm easy just try ping 
as we can see we are able to ping so that's all uh, we can ping now after enabling these things but what one thing i just want to show you we can perform this activity using command line also okay it is additional okay this is optional uh, but i want to show you so suppose uh, for meanwhile i am going to disable this rule okay now just open cmd okay with administrative okay we have two command for this for i if you are going for icmp uh, uh, ipv4 then you need to fire this command currently we are using ipv4 so just i am copying this uh, command and i am putting i will put uh, this command in description okay here i am putting that command okay okay this this one is enabled now okay just refresh once more just cut okay and again open it so let's try to ping it it's not reflecting here but uh, as we can see it it's pinging right so we can uh, uh, we can uh, do these things by command also and if you put here hyphen t right it will ping continuously till e by default it's coming for ping but if you are trying to ping continuously you put hyphen t it will ping continuously okay just i am stopping it so that's all in this video i think uh, this is enough so for for summary purpose just i am telling you here it's not showing yes or here it's showing no but it is already enabled okay for the information okay uh, by the command it's enabled but here uh, it's not showing so ju just for the verification you can check and uh, enable it if it is not showing okay by the command it's uh, already enabled so that's all and for the summary uh, i can say uh, uh, in this video just uh, we have seen how we can enable the uh, icmp or ping request on windows machine okay because uh, why we need to enable these things because on azure cloud by default it is disabled okay for the security purpose remember in this video we have learned enabling the ping request on windows machine how we can enable it by the command line or and by the gui okay using firewall so that's all in this video in next video let's see what we can learn and thank you for watching please like share and subscribe this channel i will continuously create this types of video on azure cloud and even on aws also linux and devops all this tech uh, technical uh, content i will create in future so please like and subscribe thank you